Hello. I'm going to be talking about North Korea's nuclear weapons program. Now, this is a very loaded topic with many sides and issues that need to be discussed. So let's discuss them. I'm going to discuss, divide this video in three parts. North Korea itself, China, and the United States. Okay, and South Korea, four parts. So let's start with North Korea. North Korea is one of the poorest countries in the world, in contrast to its neighbor in South Korea, which is one of the richest countries in the world. North Korea spends an enormous amount of money in its military, instead of spending money on health care and education for its people. We all familiar with the famine of North Korea back in the 90s. And, and, the, and, and in fact, UNICEF saying that uh, another famine is likely. And yet, North Korea spends money on its nuclear weapons program. In its, um, in its uh, concentration camps, and yes, North Korea has concentration camps, they use rape and torture as a method of uh, uh, attacking people. People are opposed to the regime. These are war crimes that spelled out in the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Okay, I actually know the subject of international humanitarian criminal law, and I made videos in English, Russian, and Chinese on that subject, so I'm not going to elaborate it here. Okay, another object is nuclear non-proliferation. North Korea withdrew from a nuclear non-proliferation treaty, which was signed back in 1969 among the major world powers. And I'll, in my description, I'll give you the English and Russian texts of that treaty. Now, now let's talk about South Korea. South Korea is one of the most advanced countries in the world. I believe they have the fastest internet in the world, and their military is one of the most technologically advanced in the world. It's not the United States of America, that's the most technologically advanced military in the world. But South Korea is pretty damn close. Um, they have advanced smart bombs, they have advanced military hardware. I mean, it is a very advanced army. And if North Korea went to war with South Korea, they would lose for that, because South Korea has more advanced weapons technology. It's that simple. And in terms of China, China is North Korea's best friend. And if, and if North Korea started a war between South Korea, China would immediately support them. Now, China is not supporting North Korea because they're in love with their communist regime. They're supporting China because there's, in Chinese, there is uh, an expression, uh, Bujan, Bukongibonichi, Bunanin. No war, no nukes, no refugees. It's that simple. Those are the three reasons why North Korea, China is supporting North Korea. Now, um, and of course, we all know that when China intervened in the Korean War back in the 50s, it ended up in a stalemate. And this is exactly what will happen to China, because China also has an advanced army, but they don't have the technological strength that South Korea has. Yes, they have the largest army in the world, but it's a paper tiger. They don't have the advanced technology that South Korea has. Now, of course, you're going to say that South China has nukes. Well, guess what? These nukes are back in the 70s, okay? Nu even nuclear bombs have been advanced since the 1970s. That's a fact, okay? But, but, uh, but China's military strength is simply its, strength, its, its huge size. And despite what some Chinese friends of mine will say, they're not the most trained army in the world, best trained army in the world. They're not. It's a, little, it's a dirty little secret that they won't tell you in China, is that the army is not as disciplined as they want them to be. I mean, this is in Mulan, for example, okay? Now, the United States. The United States wants a war. Regardless of where, where it starts, the United States wants a war. They wanted a war in Iraq, they wanted a war in Iran, they wanted a war in Syria, they wanted a war in Libya, now they want a war in North Korea. Why? Because they want to upset China. This is very similar to what the Russia did back in the Cuban, Cuban Missile Crisis. It's the same shit. And, um, and that's what they want. Now, I'm not supporting North Korea here. North Korea has a horrific human rights record, and they need to be prosecuted for it. But to deliberately start a war of aggression is a crime in itself. And, and, and they should, it should be held into account.